when you play poker, you kind of have to keep this even keel, this like low key mindset. It's really taught me actually and transferred over to my triathlon because they're very, very similar in, in the aspect of your mind. When you do have a pair of aces, you know, you've got to keep calm. I went to Kona about three weeks prior to the World Championship event and on a training run, I felt a pop in my foot. It just was so painful. I got back home and I went to a specialist and he's the one that diagnosed a broken second metatarsal. He suggested that the only way that it's truly going to heal is if we do surgery. It pretty much did everything we could to expedite healing, but stress fractures, you know, from my own history, you know, they take a long time to heal. After starting to run, he wanted me to try a different pair of shoes. He suggested Topo athletic shoes, and I absolutely loved them. We did a slow progression, and I was able to race quite a bit, actually. I did three halves in six weeks, and I felt strong and confident, and I was really looking forward to some events in the future. So after that, we went to training camp, and every morning I'd wake up and I would just be really sore. My legs were burning, I was up all night, I was sweating, I was freezing cold if I went in water. I would go to these doctors, I would talk to my coach, I would talk to my boyfriend, my family. It just doesn't make any sense. A lot of people were saying, it's probably just in your head. I honestly thought I was actually losing my mind. Like, it just didn't make sense to me, but I knew something was wrong. So I started reaching out to people that I knew were in the medical field, and one of them was Neil. He said, I'm 90% sure you have Lyme, but we're going to do another test. Sure enough, it came back with Lyme. Since then, I've been on two months of antibiotics, and I'll probably be on them for quite some time. I've seen progressive improvement. I raced Ironman Boulder. I was able to finish and hopefully just continue the momentum forward. It's helped me really go within myself. I've gone through these highs and lows and I've learned that you know you can't just jump into a pair of aces or a pair of twos. You can kind of keep an even keel and, and, and you'll see progression. I have to be able to just kind of live through the process.